Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about Bogan via bonsai. I have here a really nice specimen and the way this was created was we purchased this as a five gallon uh, nursery plant about ten years ago and then we stuck it in the ground and let it th thicken up and grow for about four years and it got to a point where it was around twelve feet tall and growing up over the fence and up over the neighbor's shed and then at that point we cut it back down and this was the site of the main cut and we uh, containerized it and then over the next several years started to develop a bonsai branch structure now you'll notice uh, it's just come out of dormancy for this spring here in California they do go dormant for the winter and they become uh, semi deciduous and they lose most of their leaves and this one has just started putting on new growth and what they do typically is they flower first which you're seeing here and very few leaves but a lot of flowers and bracts now if you'll look closely the actual flower is not the red uh, structure here this is called a bract and it's a leaf with colored pigmentation and the actual flower is this tiny little white thing in the middle but nonetheless they're quite striking and beautiful now, we're going to try to put this tree in our bonsai show in June, and right now it's the end of March. And so here's the conundrum. This flush of flowering is going to be gone by June, replaced by these bare thorny structures, which occur when the flowers die and drop off. And then after this, it's going to put out leaves, and then it's going to put out more flowers on the ends of the leafy growth. So even though these flowers are striking and beautiful, in order to get the bonsai shape and the leafy growth and the next run of flowers, we have to cut this back and we have to do it right now. So let's get started. Now I'll start with the lower branches down here and I'm going to cut back roughly to where I want new growth to issue from. And uh, so we'll go to right about there. And on this one about here. And we're going to try not to deprive the tree entirely of its flower glory. But we're pruning for structure right now. So unfortunately we do have to go back a ways in some places. Now this lower branch here is nicely ramified and we should get plenty of good growth out of it. But here this one's growing upward a little too much and this part is crossing inward. So we're going to take some of these back here. Alright, that takes care of most of the lower part of the tree. Now I'm just going to take a look at the tree and sort of look at where we're going in terms of shape. And again, we're planning ahead here. Now the upper part, bougainvilleas are not apically dominant. They'd rather throw shoots lower down on the tree than push growth into an upper shoot. So it's always good to leave as much as possible on the upper part of the tree. So we'll just take this back here and uh, go back just a little bit here. And we're getting pretty close here now. I'm going to take just a little more off right here. Now we'll take the flower shears and we'll clean up a lot of these little dead thorny structures because they're dead and they don't really add anything to the tree. So we just carefully take these off. Now this particular bougainvillea doesn't grow as many thorns as some of them do. Some will grow outright thorn structures along the, uh, well, like these down here. This is an outright bougainvillea thorn down here. 
and sometimes you get those and sometimes you don't but you also get last year's dead flower spurs and those have to be taken off in order to clean up the tree's appearance Now, bougainvillea are rather sensitive to temperature and weather. In California and most temperate places, they do their best growing in warm weather. For that reason, we're not going to repot this tree. All I've done at this time is clean all the weeds out of the soil and top dress the soil by raking out the top layer and putting a fresh layer on. And the reason for that is we need to add nutrients but we can't really disturb the roots yet. Now, one word about that. Bougainvillea have extremely brittle, extremely sensitive roots, especially the young ones. And some of them, if you disturb them the least little bit in the soil, you'll break off all the roots, and the tree will either give you trouble It'll lose all its leaves while it's busy regrowing roots, or even die in some cases. Now the larger, older ones like this typically develop thicker, stronger roots, and they transplant much easier. You generally don't have so much trouble with them. Now again, this is tedious work, cutting all of this off but it's absolutely necessary when shaping one of these as a bonsai because otherwise you're going to have all these unsightly little dead growths here and there okay now that branch is just about cleaned and we'll move up to this one And again, we're just taking off all the little thorns and the flower spurs. Now this branch here is dead, you can tell by the color. So, hopefully we'll get some more growth into that area. And up here near the top we have a lot of little dead flower spurs. I don't want to take off anything live this far up beyond what I've already done because it's important to keep growth going up here. So we're just going to work carefully. Now these leaves are last year's leaves which is why they look kind of sickly and pale and this year's crop of leaves has not yet started growing. And when the tree does start pushing growth, it's going to push uh, a lot of long, viney looking shoots all over the tree. And then we'll have to do another pruning at that time. So we just go from branch to branch here, work around the bracts. We're supposed to get some warmer weather here in the next week or two, so hopefully this bougainvillea will start throwing leafy growth at that time. And if it does, then we'll put some follow-up photos on the website. Alright, I've got one, maybe two more branches left to do here. Because we've got a lot of new growth in this area, I want to be really careful.
dead shoot there, so we'll take that off. Okay, I'm looking over the tree and it looks like I've gotten just about all of last year's dead growth taken off here. We'll just clean out around these blooms here. And those there. Okay, there you have it, folks. Now we have our bougainvillea prepared for the spring. And hopefully, in the coming weeks, we'll get a lot of new growth on this. And uh, the great hope is that it will be ready for the bonsai show in June. Now, one of the reasons we put it in a round pot was because when we first started working on it, we weren't quite sure where the front was going to be. And that gave us the option of several possible fronts. Now, I see a couple little branch stubs here that from take those off. And there it is, folks. Thank you for watching, folks.